Hi guys, it's Del. Okay, today I'm going to do a questionnaire with you lot. And I hope you enjoy. And please join in. It's just a fun little thing I decided I'd, I'd do. Um, yeah, there's ten questions. I'm going to answer them. If you want to join in and answer as well, please comment below with your answers to the questions. Or send in a video reply to me. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to see what your answers are to these questions. Now, let's get started. Okay. Question number one, your top five favourite films. Now this isn't Disney films, so keep the Disney films out of this one, okay? So number one for me is Lost Boys. Number two is The Crow. Number three is True Romance. Number four is The Heathers. And number five is Repo the Genetic Opera. Now a lot of people probably won't have seen Repo the Genetic Opera. It, I love my musicals and that's one of my... Favourite musicals, I'd say. Um, it's a musical with a twist. It's sort of got a lot of gore in it and stuff like that. And it's very gothic. Um, so if you like musicals, watch it. If you like gothic stuff, watch it. If you're not into musicals, I wouldn't watch it. You'd hate it. So, yeah. Okay. Question two. Your top five Disney films. This is why I didn't want you to put Disney films in the top one. Because I have a different spot. Because everybody loves Disney films. So, it could be any Disney film you want. Now, my top five is Alice in Wonderland, the cartoon version. Not the one with Johnny Depp in it. I love the cartoon version. You know, with the singing weeds and the clowns and stuff like that. Love that one. Number two is Tangled. I absolutely love Tangled because it just cracks me up every time I watch it. It's such a fun film. I smile all the way through it. The girl in it. I think it's Rapunzel. I don't know if she's called Rapunzel in this one, but she makes me just laugh. She reminds me of me. So clumsy, so, you know, jolly in her own head, thinking everything's perfect when really, reality, it's not, and things just don't aren't like that. So, yeah. Number three is Anastasia. The fact that I like this movie, I know it's a strange one, but um, I like this movie because it's one of those ones that when you've got a hot chocolate, you just want to relax and watch a movie because you're not feeling too good. I put this on because it just, it lifts me up. It's so good. The The whole storyline to it is brilliant. And I love the bat in it. It's, it's got adventure in it and it's got a lovely ending. So I love that. Number four is Lilo and Stitch. I just love it because Stitch is great. It was a great movie. It has Elvis in it, just singing away in um to the music and stuff. Love Elvis. So Stitch loved Elvis. So I love that movie. Number five, I grew up with this film. I think everybody loves this film. Is The Lion King. And it just taught me so much. Um, even though it's a Disney movie. That's what Disney movies are supposed to do. And I love The Lion King. And it's a good movie. So yeah. I had to put that one in there. Number three. Your top five songs. Now this isn't the artist. This is the song. So my number one is Creed with arms wide open. Number two, Nirvana, heart shaped box. Number three, Nick Cave, Where the Wild Roses Grow. Number four, Elvis, Love Me Tender. Number five, Eva Cassidy, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So yeah, I just I love them songs. They they're great to listen to. Yeah. Number four. Your top five favourite singer, artist, band, okay? So, not the song, but the band itself, okay? The person who you like to sing. Number one is Tom McRae. If you haven't heard of him, he's quite depressing. Most people don't like him, but I do because he relaxes me. I've listened to him over a lot of years, and he got me through some bad times in the past, and just uplifted me a bit. I know it sounds weird because he's got depression mu music, but he uplifted me personally, made me a lot more happier in myself. Number two is Muse. I've grown up with the Muse. I have all their CDs. I absolutely am in love with the Muse. Um, and I just went out and got the new CD as well. And the music is always different, but I love it. So yeah, Muse. Number three is The Kings of Leon. I like the Kings of Leon before they even became famous. I just, I'm always going to like the Kings of Leon. Number four, Nirvana. It has to be Nirvana. Nirvana has to be in my top five. I grew up with Nirvana. It brings back so many memories of certain things and that. And I just, when I listen to it, it makes me smile, it makes me sad. It just brings back loads of memories. Love Nirvana. 
Number five is Sai. Now, I only started listening to Sai, like, about two years ago, but her voice is amazing. I went crazy over her, and I ended up buying all of her CDs. Um, it's S-I-A, and her voice is just unbelievable. It's not something I would normally listen and listen to, but I just... It's unbelievable. If you haven't heard her, please check her out. She's awesome, honestly. Brilliant singer. I've never heard anything like her before, and I just... I fell in love with her straight away when I started hearing her songs, so, yeah. Number five. If you could go back in time and change one thing, what would it be? Now, I don't like this sort of question because I would never change anything because it's made me the person who I am today. But if I did have to change one thing, it would have to be my GCSE choices. Like, when over here, you have your GCSEs, but you have an additional GCSEs that you could pick and... You know, I picked drama for mine. Now, at the time, I thought it was a good idea because it chilled me. I liked it. It was fun. Um, but now I regret it because I really wish I took art because I'm into art and I love drawing. I'm so creative. And that was more me. But I chose a different route. I don't know why. I think I thought it was going to be easier, but I probably would have got better marks of doing a GCSE art instead. So if I could go back and change one thing, that would be it. I'd rather swap it round. Instead of doing drama, I'd do art. My top five favourite books. Number one is the Harry Potter series. I love Harry Potter. Books, completely love them. Love the films, but the books are so much better. Um, number two is Nikki French's Secret Smile. Number three is Alice in Wonderland, of course. I grew up with that. My dad used to read me stories when I was little, before bed. And that was one of the books um, that stuck in my head the most when he was reading. And I have it now, and I've read it over and over again so many times. I love it. Um, number four, Schindler's List. Now, this book is quite sad. It's based on a true story, and it is really good. If you've seen the film, the book you must read is really good. Um, really sad, but really good. Number five is Dracula. Number six, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would that be? Now, like I said, I wouldn't really change anything. Um, I wouldn't change any looks or anything like that because I know I'm not perfect and I'm not the prettiest person in the world. Um, I'm not perfect or anything like that. Um, you know, I, I just I wouldn't change it because I am actually quite comfortable with my body. So if I did change one thing, it would be my confidence. Um, I don't know if that's the correct word to use, but over the years, um, school and stuff, I used to get bullied. I've always been walked over. I'm one of these people that are quite quiet, if you don't know me sort of thing. And I get really, I get talked down to a lot. I get pushed about. Um, I get controlled really easy. Um, and people can sort of like tell me what to do, if you know what I mean. Like, not that I, you know, I, I'm kind of easily led, if you know what I mean. And I wish that back then or now as well and um, I wish because even now I've got people you know trying to talk down to me and and I don't I don't like it I don't understand why people have to do that but it, it, I don't like it and um, I wish I had the confidence to put a stop to that not necessarily put a stop to it but have the confidence to go wait a minute I don't want to do that and I'm not going to and don't talk to me like that I wish I had the confidence to not be pushed around so much and walked all over because it happens all the time for me, and it's a vicious circle, it just happens. So I wish I, I wasn't, you know, I wish I was more confident to stop people from walking all over me, if that makes sense. It's not really bullying, I don't really get led easy anymore, because I have, you know, I've learnt my lesson, but I do get walked all over, um, even now. So that that's what I would change, my confidence. I would love to change my eyes, um, so I have working eyes. Because I'm blind as a bat, but, you know, I think the confidence is more of a better one because I'm comfortable with my body and my eyes at the moment. Well, yeah. <laughs> Number seven. If you were a superhero or a villain, up to you, what power would you have? Now, me, I'd probably be a villain because I feel as though that villains have more fun. Yeah, they don't last as long, but they have more fun. I wouldn't be a villain where I would kill people and that, but my ability would be to control electronics like a cash machine. I would control a cash machine to spit out money at me. So, you know, I would control 
um, CCTV camera to go on and off and change and stuff like that. I would control people's hearing aids to turn them off. Um, people's mobile phones to hack into them and, you know, let it type a certain thing to somebody. I'd, I'd be like a really mischievous villain sort of thing. Number eight, what is your most favourite thing you love the most at the moment? Now, mine was really easy because it's my family. I absolutely adore my family and friends. Um, I have made stupid mistakes, done stupid things. And every time I've done something stupid and not right, my family's always been there to pull me around. And they've always stood by me no matter what my choices are. Even if they don't agree with them, they've always stood by me. And you can't choose your family and that's what I love about my family is we're we may be messed up because everybody's family is messed up but my family always pull together and help each other out and that's what I love about my family and friends because that's that's what family and friends are and vice versa you know so that's what I love the most right now is my family and number 10 five things you dislike and five things you like. My five things that I dislike is really hot weather. I hate being all sticky and sweaty. And I hate the, like, I love the sun, but I, I hate it when it's really, really sunny. And, because I get headaches and I'm really pale, as you can see. Um, and I just don't like it because I get headaches, I burn easy, so I don't like the sun that much. Um, I hear people fighting and arguing. I just don't understand. There's, you know, there's better things to do out there than cause fights and drama with people. Um, you know, if you don't like somebody, that's it. Put a stop to it. You don't have to speak to them. You know, just get on with it. Get on with other stuff. There's better things to do out there than argue with people. So, yeah, I don't like people arguing and fighting. It upsets me, and I don't understand why you have to do it. Um, clowns. I hate clowns. And I hate zombies, and I hate trains. Now, my worst nightmare would be a clown zombie on a train. Because I have a phobia of trains, and that would... I don't... I don't know what I'd do if, in that situation. I don't even want to think about it. It really hurts my head. But if I, there was a, cl a zombie clown on a train, that is my worst fear of all. Things I like the most are the winter. I love the dark nights, the winters. It's getting cold. You put all your big jumpy jumpers and comfies on. You know, you've got your cups of teas and hot chocolates. It's movie nights in, snuggles, you know, nice comfort food and stuff like that. So I love that. I love spending time with the, the family and friends and my cat and just snuggling up. And, you know, just I love the winter. It's really it's really family orientated, I think. It brings people close together. I love my cat. Absolutely adore my cat. Mr. Tinkerbell. I love my bed and snuggles. I love snuggling up with my cat in bed and my guy in bed. I just love snuggling up, reading in bed. I, yeah, that's my next one, reading. I absolutely love reading. So I love being in my bed, snuggled up to my cat and reading. Um, and I love food. I just, I absolutely adore food. At the moment, food and me aren't getting on, but I love just, I love food. It's one of those things that, it's food. Everybody loves food, but at the moment I'm not enjoying food just because of certain things that, you know, are going on with me at the moment. But I like food. I like to sit down and have a nice dinner, nice meal, you know, hearty food. Love food. So, yeah, those are my 10 questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't babble too much. Um, feel free, please. I'd love to hear from you and for your answers in the comment box. So, please comment below in the comment box or send in a video reply to it. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. It was just a little bit of fun, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye, guys!